We're just in the middle of a hangout. I'm like, you know what? <clears throat> we should really hit the record button. Uh, I have some show and tell that I'm going to do because I'm working on a project. Uh, it's a new video. Uh, it's a new video series. And the first uh, video is all about Arizona meteorites. This, the first one is a very, very, very common one, Canyon Diablo. This is my personal Canyon Diablo. It is a 1.99 kilogram individual. Wow. This fell here in Arizona 50,000 years ago, creating Meteor Crater. What's super cool about having this is I just was in inside at the bottom of the, of the crater two weeks ago. So I, I know that, uh, I know the power that it took to, and this actually survived, which is incredible. Mm. Yeah. Gold Basin is an L4 chondrite, about 15,000 years old from Arizona as well. That actually shows fusion crust still on it. That's my personal example of it. And I really like this one. Actually, for 15,000 years, it's in great shape. Huh? Yeah. This one is uh, 143 grams, just about. You can see the condyles. Yeah, this, this is a big one. Uh, yes, it is. And they're usually not this, this sizable. This one is Grapevine Mesa, also from Arizona. This is an unusually large 15 and a half gram end cut. Mm. If you have a piece that is large enough to slice, you have a larger slice than most people. This is a very, very rare meteorite. Mm. But you can still go hunt and find little shrapnel or little pieces of it. Maybe all the ones this size are gone. Mm -hmm. That's a gorgeous piece. Wow. Nice. Absolutely. Ben it's Covenite. It's massive, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. Yeah, because pieces of, of that have been found down to like BB size, even. Yeah, like mine. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, again, this is a, a rare meteor. This is a Ben Coven like mm -hmm. one. Um, this actually belongs to uh, Mark Lyon. This is a very rare Arizona meteorite. This is an H5 classification with a zero rating for weathering. With about only a kilo uh, of disclosed finds in the Met Bowl, you are looking at a very rare end cut of Indian Butte. Another beautiful Arizona meteorite. This is Tank Mountains. Tank Mountains was found between Yuma and Gila Bend in Arizona. Only about eight kilos of rocks have been disclosed in the Met Bowl. This is classified as an L6 with a shock rating of three and a weathering rating of two. So it's an L6, S3, W2, Tank Mountain. Very, very happy to have this one. Beautiful crust line on it. This is La Poza Plain. This is Arizona's newest witness meteorite, also known as Quartzite, because it fell in the Quartzite, Arizona area. This is an LL3-6, which means it has lithographies from LL3 up to and including possibly uh, all of them, but up to L6, LL6. It's a beautiful, beautiful crusted example. I actually went and hunted this fall myself and came up empty handed. But I'm really happy to have this from just over just about a year ago, and I have uh, some sand from the strewn field in there as well. So 
super awesome. And I actually have all the provenance information of all that I need. So really well documented. There's only about a half kilo of this material. There's more out there and we should go get it. This is the most important Arizona meteorite to me. I'll just go ahead and, and start talking about it until someone figures it out. <laughs> this is a very, very ordinary chondrite. Well, to science it is. To me, it's very important. This meteorite was actually found by a, science, a meteorite scientist while walking his dog. He later classified the meteorite at the Busick Center for Meteorite Studies. That was Lawrence Garvey, and this is Chandler. Chandler, Arizona is my hometown, and I cannot be a meteorite dealer in Chandler without being the only, well, <laughs> one of two private collectors to have a piece of Chandler in a beautiful fusion-crusted end cut that I personally cut off the main mass. So just goes to show you that the classification doesn't talk to the importance of, of the meteorite, just to a lot of people, it's the story behind it. Here we have 23 and a half grams of an Arizona witness fall from 1912. This is Hallbrook. This was found by Eric Thistler, Ben Thistler's son over 23 grams, very unusually large Holbrook. Still after 120, 110 years, shows great fusion crust. This amazing little six gram slice is off Scottsdale. Scottsdale was a single stone find in Phoenix. This is classified as an LL3 and shows some tremendous small condyles in there. A hundred and sixty-five gram, very, very shapely, beautiful Franconia, Arizona. Look at the crust on this. 